Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and my craft table. So glad that you're here today and welcome if you're new. I'm really glad to meet you. Today is not going to be a craft, but rather a craft haul. September is my birthday month and yes, I did say birthday month <laughs> and I was able to um, between my personal budget and birthday budget and birthday gifts, I was able to amass a large amount of craft supplies. So I'm super excited to be able to bring crafts to the channel with these new supplies in the coming months. But I wanted to go ahead and share the craft haul with you in case there's anything that you think that you would like to add to your personal stash. I have crafts from Joanne, scrapbook.com, Simon Says Stamp, Amazon, Waffle Flower Crafts, and Spellbinders. So let's go ahead and check out all of the good things. Okay, so I recently went to Joanne and I found that first of all, they were having an amazing sale and um, I found this particular stamp. It's from Hero Arts. It is a six by six and it's just one of those red rubber cling stamps. Now I don't own any of these. So this is a new type of stamp for me and it works great in the Misty. So I am super excited to use this. Um, I am gonna do a couple more Halloween cards. Now, normally I don't do Halloween cards, but this year I happen to have supplies that would allow me to make Halloween cards that look super cute. So I thought, why not? Why not go ahead and make Halloween cards and share um, some crafty goodness with family and friends? Sorry about that glare. But this is just the most awesome background stamp ever. Um, I really like this. So this is from Joanne. It was originally $14.99 and I think I got it half off. So just check your Joanne in case you're wanting to see if they still have something like this. And then I found these in the back part of Joanne where the wood is. These are just six piece garden sticks. They already have the arrow end, the rounded end on this side. Um, the sides are the dark color, the dark stain, and I will be using these for an upcoming Halloween craft. So I've got a, a couple of Halloween uh, videos that one is already online, one is coming out. Um, I just had a ghost shaker card. So I'll probably just have about one one more Halloween craft video, one, or I could do two small ones. And then maybe one or two small Halloween card. So, but we are going to continue scrapping for, I mean, crafting for fall. Let's go ahead and check out the next thing. Okay, so the next item I got, this is actually from Amazon and they have it at Michael's, but I found it less expensive at Amazon. So, and that's even with a teacher discount and uh, coupons, rewards, all that. I was able to get it a little bit cheaper at Amazon and I had to order anyway, so I just threw this in my cart. Um, this is actually, I'm really excited about it because I bought a 12 by 12 guillotine paper cutter for my, for my classroom. And I did that about two years ago. And then I've been bringing it back and forth between home and school as needed depending on whether I needed it for crafts or I needed it in my classroom. So I decided just to go ahead and invest in one for my craft room, leave the other one at school. But what I like about this is it's also a scoreboard. So I know a lot of you are familiar with the score buddy, the score pal, or um, the small Simon Says stamp, the little white scoreboard. And I've been looking at those, but then this, came along and I'm super excited about this. So let me tell you about it. First of all, it has a little thing here where you can open it up just like this and you get the 12 by 12 size, okay? And it has a, well, let me just turn it over first. When you open it up, it has these little supports 
that you just slide in and they help keep the board stabilized. You can see here underneath that there is a place for the uh, score knife. Okay, so we're just gonna pull this out. Okay, and then this is what you use to score. And these are these score lines are set at every three millimeters. Okay. And so when you're done scoring, you can just put that right back in here and it doesn't get lost. Okay, now as far as the cutting is concerned, um, so I know you guys have seen this on my channel before and the arm swings out. I can use the cutting blade. I, there is a scoring blade, but a lot of times I will just put this to the bottom put my paper in and then I will use my bone folder to score along here. And wow, I really got to clean that groove there. But this, I'll use the bone folder for folding my, my card paper and I'll just use it here in the score line, right? So this is an option and I just got that at Hobby Lobby and you guys have seen that before. But what I like about this is it has the platform here. And then this particular thing down here, this is, I guess, kind of like the, the little cutting blade platform and the scoring, all well, the, the cutting guide and the scoring guide. So if I turn it over, well, you can see it says trim and score board. And then here on the end, it says flip for trimming. If I put this in this well over here, there's a little lip along here, and then I can place my paper against this edge right there. So I can place my paper against there, and then I can then just go ahead and score it where I feel like. So if I just score right there. And that makes um, well, it's kind of hard. Well, I don't know. I guess you can see it. It makes a nice score line. So I'm very pleased with that. And then as far as cutting, okay, this, you just flip it back over and it sits down in this little well over here. Okay. And the blade, you can see how the blade is on the edge instead of here in the middle. All right, and it just slides up and down like my normal paper trimmer. But what I like about it is that I've got one, I literally have one product that does the, the trimming and the scoring all at one time. And I don't have to have more than one paper cutter. Uh, I'm trying to consolidate a little, so I thought this would be great. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut off this here, this is just some scrapbook paper that I got from scrapbook.com. I'm gonna be using this probably coming up. And these little tabs that run along the edge of your scrapbook paper that tells you, you know, where it's from and it gives you the other side, like what the other side looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and cut those off just to demonstrate this. So I'm gonna place where I want to cut along this little line right here and it's perfectly lined up top and bottom i'm going to close the arm like i would any other paper trimmer and then i'm just going to slide like any other paper trimmer these come off very nice and then it does it does cut very nicely um, my small one that i just showed you um, a lot of times it works great, but then other times my paper gets a little frayed. And so I find myself going through blades on that one a lot. I don't know how long this particular blade will last. I'm going to look into um, replacement blades. I know you can purchase them. But anyway, I just thought I would give this a try because I get a lot of function. I get three different things going on. And I like to cut vinyl down into smaller um, manageable pieces. Sometimes I cut rolls down to 12 by 12 sheets. So this here gives me a lot of flexibility and yet I don't have to have multiple um, 
tools to do all of the things that I want to do. So I thought this would be a great space saver. And so now we just put the knife back in there before we close it up. This gets closed like that. We flip over. We pull out these little stabilization guides and then we can close it. Oh, it does have rubber feet right here. There's four rubber feet. So we just close it up and it clicks into place. And here we go. This takes up so much less space than my very large 12 by 12 paper cutter. So anyway, I just wanted to share this. I will link this down in the description. This particular item is from Amazon and it was about $24, $25. And for me, that is so worth it because the 12 by 12 paper cutter, the guillotine was, you know, almost 40. And then my other little paper trimmers were however much they are. So all in one for $25, that to me is a really good deal. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so the next little piece of the haul that I want to share with you is some stuff that I got from Simon Says Stamp. So every year, Simon Says Stamp will send you a little something special for your birthday. Either it is a special code to use in, your, in their store, you know, free shipping, whatever. So this was actually the special thing. This is called Birthday Mail. And it has um, like a birthday stamp. It has what is looking like a postage stamp set here a one cent five cent five cent ten cent forty we got candles we've got a cupcake a hat balloons and a present and they all have the very trendy postage stamp edging and the little postage stamp pricing and then there is a mini postage stamp die i am super excited about that because I could use this particular die with so many other crafts and so many other things. This would be great. Um, I'm really excited about that. And then the birthday stamp here. Okay, we've got the uh, die to cut that out. So no fussing cutting for that. And so this was my little freebie birthday from Simon Says Stamp. Thank you, Simon Says Stamp. This really made my day. I don't know if they only make it available for special things or if it's something they carry year round. I honestly don't know, but made me super happy. Okay, so then while I was in there, I went ahead and went did some shopping. So this is a thankful cover plate, and I really love the simplicity of this. Um, you could do so many different things with this particular die. And I'll go ahead and open it. I really just want to see. So this is the die. And there it is. And it just looks amazing. You could cut out all kinds of different colors and inlay them. You could fill this with some little confetti. There's just so many things you could do. So I'm excited to work with this particular cover die. This will probably be coming to the channel. Um, I got this. Now, this was really marked down on clearance, and I like butterflies, but I don't gravitate toward butterflies, but I did like the split design, and I like the little happy birthday. So this is a stamp in metal die. So you've got your little birthday wishes or happy birthday, so your choice, and then the die is cut into two pieces. Now you could always take a regular die cut shape, whether you have a die or you make one on your Cricut, and then you could always score it down the middle. So um, you can always make your own split dies, but I really just thought, wow, that is a, a really nice clearance price. I will take one, thank you. And it looks like that they have a whole collection. So this looks like a little gift. This looks like some kind of wreath. And I'm not real sure what that one is because my eyes are a little old and I don't know. But anyway, this, um, I thought I would give that a try. Then 
for future use, I found this. It's called End of the Rainbow, and it's just, you know, it's just cute. I, um, when I was little, I love Lucky Charm cereal. I know cereal's unhealthy, but that's what I loved when I was a little kid. And I just really think this could be a super fun thing. So this was also in the clearance section, and I just went ahead and got it because you could, you know, you could do that for all kinds of things, not just um, St. Patrick's Day. And then I found some, now these are more like um, just Valentine's Day, but it's also just a lot of love kind of sentiments. And who couldn't use a love card any day of the year? So not just Valentine's, but also all of these others. So these are just sentiments ready to go. And I thought that would be nice. And I'll just show you what they look like. I don't buy a lot of these, but the ones I have, I think are nice to have. And so it's just cardstock. It's already pre-printed for you and you can just cut it out the way you feel like, and then you could mat it against a color that, um, or not, you could just put it on top. So there's lots of options that you could use for this particular product. And then this is a chevron stencil. Now I haven't played with this yet, but it looked really, really neat in the gallery pictures that I saw. So um, being a geometry teacher, I love geometric shapes and designs. So I'm excited to play with this. I only have a few stencils, but they are fun to play with. And then I got the, um, Let's see, this is a Pink Fresh Studio 6x6 paper pack. And it is just a bunch of different designs. Now this paper pack matches the paper that came in the June Simon Says Stamp card kit that, cause I get the card kits every month. So I was excited to see this and I have actually used this particular paper and that particular paper on the channel when I made a card in the past. So um, I was excited to find some see, extra paper to match some of the stuff that's already in that kit. But there we go. That is the Simon Says Stamp Craft Haul. And let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, so this is kind of an interesting craft haul. And actually, this is the one that um, I got in September but I wanted to pull out the one I got last month. And Waffle Flower Crafts makes a sneak peek card kit. And they send you everything you need to make some cards. They put it in a cute little zipper pouch that holds everything. And depending on the month is depending on what all you get, but they always send um, what supplies you're getting. They have some online resources so not just videos on how to use the stuff that's in the kit but a facebook group etc so the, all of that is for club members and it just sits in this little pocket right outside and then on the inside of the heart kit or the i guess the craft kit i guess you could do all kinds of things every month is different so you could get dies you could get stamps you could get you know, whatever they decide to send. So this is, um, these are autumn sentiment strips. And this is a sunflower cluster layering stencil. And I watched the video that came with this kit. This is not something that I would just go and, oh, I'm gonna buy that and make some crafts, right? But because it is sent to me, it is very, you know, inspiring for me to step outside of my comfort zone. So anyway, this is the die that goes with it. And so you got a die and you got a stencil. Look at that die. I mean, that is huge. And if you have a if you have a spellbinders, you can use the embossing um uh plate so that you're not cutting, but you're using this as an emboss uh on your paper. That would be kind of interesting to try and see if that worked. They also come with a suggested color scheme. You could definitely do whatever color schemes you want. 
So, you know, this was one of them. And on camera, this is beyond gorgeous. Like this photo does not do it justice. So anyway, it just tells you what colors were used and it gives you another one. But usually the video shows you at least four different things. So um, I just recently subscribed to the Sneak Peek Club. And so far, I, I've been pretty impressed. I just, you know, adulting is just really getting in the way of my crafting. I'll just say that right now because I could literally sit at home and craft all day. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I've got to work. I've got to be responsible. So um, you get the card kit the month before, or the, I'm sorry, the sneak peek kit. You get that the month before the items are released on the website for purchase for everyone else. So that was the September one. And this was August. I was super excited about this. Um, if you are into cards at all, and I'm just, I used to make cards growing up. I did scrapbooking growing up. And then, you know, the past year or so, I've gotten into Cricut crafting and DIY. But really, my heart is Cricut and cards, those kind of things. Um, I do like general DIY, but I'm not as creative uh, with those. So this one was August. and. I really like this card kit because it is postage stamp. So if you have seen the postage stamp craze going around, it's the postage stamp for Halloween. So this was the September release, but it was shipped in August. And of course, as always, the online information so that you um, you know how to put it together or something. and. What's neat, I'll just show you this really fast, is this particular piece of paper from this kit was then showcased right here in this kit. So you can always mix and match the materials and the months and stuff. So um, I think that's actually pretty thoughtful. It's your creativity coming to life on paper. So. You just choose what you like. So I just wanted to share in case you are someone who is, if you're someone who is looking for a monthly kit. So far, I have been impressed with the Waffle Flower Sneak Peek kits. I have gotten um, two more in particular, and I have been quite impressed with them. I just haven't had enough time to play with them. And then the Simon Says Stamp Monthly Card Kit. I do subscribe to that and you can, any of these kits, you can always decline that particular month, you know, and just not receive that month if you don't want it. And then they don't charge you for that month. But what I really like is so far, almost without exception, I have loved everything I've received, especially the Simon Says Stamp. Those, um, the Waffle Flower is a little cheaper. Simon Says Stamp is a little bit more but for the amount of stuff that they put in that kit and what it costs normally to buy those things, they are steals. And that is really kind of one reason why I started getting them is because it allows me to try different materials and I don't have to spend more than I really want to just to try something. You know, maybe you don't like something and you don't want to buy a lot of it or whatever. But so it's a great deal, um, in my opinion. And just, yeah, go and check, check their websites out. See what you think. All right, let's move on. Okay, so my next deal was scrapbook.com. Okay, so I have, a, I have a couple of Halloween cards coming out where I have used my Lawn Fawn Trick or Treat. Now, these are the clear stamps. And these are the lawn cuts. And this is so fun. I love cotton candy. But anyway, that's me. So I really have gotten into Lawn Fawn stamps. They're just, they're small, they're cute, um, they're not overwhelming, and they're really, really versatile. If you go to their um, YouTube channel, it's just the creativity is just mind blowing. 
But anyway, I got this a little while back in the summer. And then with my scrapbook.com order, I found these. So I'm thinking shaker card coming up. Definitely thinking a shaker card. This is the last card. This is the first card I used with this. And I'm showing you this for a couple of reasons because this is not coming to the channel, this particular card. I can, but I don't have a video for it. And I was just playing around with some ink blending and I was stamping with the Lawn Fawn stamp thing. And then this, the, the shimmer, oh my goodness. If you are familiar with Amy R from Paper, Paper Prairie and Ink, she uses a different brand, I believe, but these are shimmer pens. So it's kind of like a paint pen or like a marker, but it's shimmer and it's just gorgeous. Now I got a little bit too much when I first started to use it, but they're so cute. Look at that little sparkly little candy corns. So I got a three pack of these. They come in a three pack. You can get them singly. And I, this is probably going to be something that I'm going to have like a bajillion of because I can see myself putting shimmer on pretty much everything that sits still. So I just wanted to show you that and what the result looked like. Um, then we have, I did buy, so the candy corn sprinkles. And then I got these embellishments here. You got a a ghost and some lollipops, some bats, some tombstones. This is cute. I absolutely love making shaker cards. And then I have here just a little jewel mix. Those are so fun. This is, um, I don't know what this one's called in particular. It's called Scared Silly. But shaker cards are my favorite kind of cards to make. And I'm really learning how to um, get better and better at them. So bought some shaker card elements. These are coming in a video soon. I'm just going to edit it. But these were, now these were little freebies when I did purchase them. They still have these, but they're no longer freebies. And it's just a cute little Halloween stamp. Both of these, I thought those were super fun to work with. And then I also got I got the postage stamp die. I have been wanting this forever. And I thought that this would be fun to have. And the thing about Waffle Flower Crafts is in their packaging, and I think other some other companies do this too, but you see how that just all slid? They include a magnetic little shim in here so that when you're dies are sitting in when your dies are sitting in the um uh in the packaging they're not all sliding around so yeah i just wanted to share that this is the postage collage die set and i really 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 wanted these dies here and then I could see how I could probably use this for sentiments, but um, this is just the, the basic collage. I've been wanting that forever, so I went ahead and, and got that. And then these were recent. So Laura and Cody do the scrapbook.com live videos every week, and they're just infectious. They have the best personalities, but these were freebies when you go on to scrapbook.com if you go to shop and you go down to coupons and deals they always have some kind of sale or coupon code or whatever and these were free so i just added them to my cart when i was checking out so this is a bear shaker piece so we got the little eyes and ears and nose pieces um, this is like the muzzle, right? And then here's a little, um, looks like a little scarf element. And then here, these are layered Halloween banners. So you have the shadow layer, and then you have the word here, and it says happy and Halloween. So I just wanted to share those. De definitely check their deals page when you go to scrapbook.com because they always have something something for everybody even if it's not every single month 
that you like what they are offering, they always have something something on sale or some kind of coupon code or some kind of freebie or all three. And that is, you know, I always shop clearance stuff and then I shop sale stuff. And then last resort, I shop regular price things, just so you know, because as a teacher, this girl is not made of money. Okay, then look, I'm so excited. Okay, so we know that the Spellbinders Crafty Advent Calendar craze is just, I mean, it's just crazy. So I did purchase this here. It is the 24 Crafty Surprises. And I will bring this to the channel, you know, December-ish. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably ahead of time, I will be opening these, these little box windows. I will be crafting with them, but I will make little vignette videos so that um, I can bring 24 days of crafty goodness I I was able to find last year's through a scrapbook company in like Pennsylvania. And I, so I have that um, and that's a lot of fun stuff too. And I so wish I could find the first year. This is the third year that they've done it. And I haven't heard that they're sold out, but scrapbook.com does sell them and you can get them directly from Spellbinders. So I know Spellbinders has their, you know, rewards program for their purchases, just like Altenew. But this is what it, it does. So it's got dies, stencils, stamps, little embossing folders, so embellishments, right? And the thing what you, that you need to know is that these are not Christmas themed. You could make things Christmassy by your color choices and maybe extra embellishments or sentiments, but these are not necessarily Christmas things in here. So they are good for um, using beyond the advent calendar process. And same thing with last year and the year before. So what that's actually what I liked about them because I didn't want an advent calendar that was just Christmas themed, even though that fall, Christmas, and Halloween are my favorite to craft for. But um, yeah, this is very exciting. I cannot wait. I'm not going to open anything because I don't want to spoil anything. And I'm really excited to try these out. This stuff is you know new to me because usually I just use my Cricut to cut out dye stuff and um, for paper crafting. And I will probably always continue to use my Cricut to supplement my um, paper crafting and card making, but I did want to try this out. Last thing that I want to share with you, I got the little platinum scalp. This, this here was my birthday present. So I do have the, um, the Spellbinder 6. I love it. Um, sometimes I think, wow, I really would like this to be smaller because I only need a tiny die cut. And I do have a super tiny, cheap little die cut machine that I had gotten. You know, it's really generic, really cheap. I mean, it was like less than 20 bucks and it works fine. But I was thinking about letting my, passing that on to my daughter who it really isn't too much into crafting yet with everything, but she's getting interested. So I thought she could play around with that. But this is basically my Platinum 6 in a mini size. So I'm really excited. So instead of being 6 by 9, it is a 3.5 by 9 cut. It, it's literally the Spellbinders. Just, they just shrunk it. So I'm super excited. So I'll just show you what it looks like because I did already just pull everything out. So it looks like this. This is very lightweight compared to the Spellbinder 6. And this is nice because the handle is already on there. Unlike the Platinum 6 where you just put the handle on yourself, it does fold out like the other one. So get, see what I mean? I mean, it literally is like somebody just took a magic wand and just made this super tiny and it can just, you know, sit where you want it. It does come with some extra things for your handle. It comes with the 
Um, it comes with the universal plate system. All right, so that's what I like about. And they give you a little die to get started. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Plastic paper on camera is not uh, fun to listen to. Okay, so you have platform A, and what I like about the Spellbinder system is I can never remember what the cutting die sandwich is. So they have the regular cutting die sandwich. They have the embossing. So you can use your die to emboss instead of cut. And then it has the platform top. This is a cutting plate, okay? Then this is the top cutting plate. So this is your standard, you know, this is your standard cutting sandwich. And the, um, the platform B, it tells you how to use your embossing folders. So see, all the directions are right here. You, it's already done for you. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to memorize it. And if you just are careful, and set it up. You don't have to worry about your cuts not coming out. So there's your cutting plates. It does come with a um, a little shim. Now this is, um, you know, like regular, it's like a plastic, you know, like a laminated paper. That's what these plastic things are, but it's a shim. It has the embossing mat, and then it has the adapter plate. And it will tell you what is not a cutting surface because you don't want to cut into things that are not cutting surfaces. So only these pink things, only these pink things are the cutting plates. So that's what, I, and I like that those are pink and everything else is not. So I know that these are cutting only. And I did get the magic mat. So this is designed to replace the bottom cutting plate here, it would be like that. And I actually, I think I have one for my Spellbinder 6, and I think I'm going to look into getting the magnetic ones just because then I don't have to use tape when I'm running things through my die. But, you know, it doesn't, I'm not opposed to putting tape on things. So again, this is like a little cutting plate here. And so there's that. You get in here, you get a really nice, actually you get a really nice embossing folder. And this is fun. So if you're a scrapbooker, these could be fun embellishments for your pages. If you are into slimline cards, and I haven't tried those yet, but I want to. I mean, that's just, it's got the um, emboss side and the deboss side. So just, Lovely. I'm excited to try that out. It comes with a $5 off coupon. Okay, and you get the directions, how to use it, just like that. And um, it does talk about a die. Ex oh, I was like, I don't know. I guess I didn't get the die. I do. It's right here. <laughs> It also comes with a die for you to try out. And this just says, just a note, and it's got some flowers and leaves and centers. So that that's, you know, I like that they offer you something to try out when you get the machine. So again, hats off to Spellbinders for making some great products. And I did just, they have their, well, their warehouse sale, and I have ordered some things. So I can't wait for those to come. Um, so yes, there will be lots of Cricut Crafts, but yes, I will be doing some cards because I've gotten some really nice, fun things to try out. And um, even if you're not a card maker, hopefully you will enjoy those as well. So this is all for my craft haul. And, you know, normally I don't have really big, I really don't have big craft hauls very often. Um, but this one, I kind of feel like I just hit the jackpot and um, it's just been a month of being able to purchase some things and being gifted some things. Um, so gift cards are always fantastic. But all right, well, that is it for today. And until I see you in one of my future videos coming out soon, um, 
As always, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.